Okay, so the Good Heritage is a is a startup. It's my startup. It's a company I founded recently. And what I'm really trying to do is kind of uh, take this uh, back to basics approach to nutrifying the world. Uh, if we look back at some of the traditions and we borrow from that, some of these great traditions about using just the most natural forms of you know whether it's medicine, whether it's uh, cosmetic products, whether it's food products. So I'm trying to bring to the world more consumer goods that are wellness based and are based from forests, very natural, wild harvested in their most most natural form and make those more available to the global uh, communities. I think wellness is just the, this idea of feeling your best. So whether it is the way you look, the way you feel, the way you think, and, and the decisions you make throughout the day to support your whole being. Okay, so it's a holistic view to what makes a, a, a person whole and what makes them live their best life. When I was looking at working in, with forests and kind of creating opportunities around forests for communities, I realized that I needed to find a, a demand, a need to be met through forests. And wellness is a growing trend globally. Um, it's actually maybe not a trend because it's something that is really here to stay. People kind of moving away from um, products with cosmetic products with multiple ingredients in favor of things with just minimal ingredients. So one of our products that I'm making actually is a, is a cosmetic oil that you can apply and that's it. So you don't need a cream, you don't need an eye cream, you don't need all these other different cosmetic products that you would normally need. So we're basically meeting that need to simplify um, you know, the, the beauty process for, for women and, and men around the, around the world. So I think you know this is uh, certainly an, an area for me that I, is exciting and that can be met through um, uh, developing and, and restoring forests. So I think that you know the main issue is uh, connecting with the communities and co-creating with the communities. I don't think uh, we'll fix this problem by simply bringing solutions, but I think that we need to connect um, the goals of, of you know for. Uh, restore, restoring forests to development goals, to people's needs. I like ideas where you co-create with the community so you're not bringing a solution from elsewhere. So I think, you know, bringing all those together will probably, at least will get us, uh, you know, a step towards the right direction to uh, meeting the goals. I think the private sector plays a very big role. I think that it needs to be on the table when scientists and researchers and the government are talking about restoration. Um, and thanks to the SDGs, private sector, the private sector is actually now uh, thinking about ways to do good, you know, kind of a multi-pronged approach of doing good for biz good for business, good for society, and good for the environment. And so I think they need to be front and center, actually, and also in terms of financing. Um, some of this financing can come through the private sector as long as they are also getting what they need and getting the financial returns that they need. Pledges to me are very interesting because sometimes people sit in a room and they come up with numbers. So I think that they need to be constantly updated with new information that we're receiving as you go out in the field. I think that um, sometimes we have these big numbers that we want to accomplish, but we don't really tie them to what's happening on the ground. So we really need to look at why are we trying to, for example, to restore how many ever hectares of land? What is the reason? And can we explain that in a way that we get buy-in from everyone that is involved?